Hey everybody, let's talk about the lookup files. Okay, so let me just uh, start with a top status command, uh, which will give you uh, all the status as you get, right? Uh, now, let's say I have a file, okay, to, to make you a fe I mean, a feature called lookup file. Okay, now what I'll do is I have an Excel which is already prepared with the, with the uh, you know, variable HTTP status and HTTP, uh, you know, readable status, okay, just to uh, divide the data and understand uh, what happens as far as the data is concerned and then we can upload that specific file using the excel there you go this is the excel that i have prepared with uh, with the uh, you know uh, variable http status and http readable status okay it is divided now add this lookup file to the splunk okay let me do that uh, for that i have to go to settings right go to settings in settings you have lookups right Click on that and you see three options there are three ways that you can you know uh, proceed as per your requirement right i have lookups table uh, table files lookup definitions and i have automatic lookups right now in lookup file uh, what you need to do is uh, need to add new lookup okay click add new when you go to lookup file right lookup file table click add new okay once you go there and add new here now uh, you see various apps right you see various various apps here okay add in in a search app browse okay app search and you have to browse the uh, file from the desktop i have it saved in the desktop now i will save it my destination file would be http underscore status underscore csv this is basically a csv file uh, right so http status csv always remember lookup file do not create uh, you know uh, with the spaces uh, you you always suggested to give uh, underscore right do not create any file with the uh, spaces okay rename the file as status uh, okay just give me one minute i will try and rename this file and i will try to upload uh, again okay uh, let me do that now just to correct the status which i have given here Okay. I will I will try and uh, upload this file once again. Let me change this small sort of a correction. It is all the same. There is no, uh, you know, um, file as far as the file is concerned. I am not going to change anything. Just uh, you know the the status that I will just change in the data. I will upload it again. Okay. Just give me one minute. Let me do that. I have changed it and I am saving this. Now I'll try to add it's not added i will uh, cancel that and upload once again let me do that mm. okay mm. go to desktop i have the option okay mm. all right okay let me just add it frankly beginning that will be easy for me i have cancelled it i am added it again yeah it's done destination file name also i will give okay as a http status underscore csv file right now i will add it save it now you see the file added here right it is added it, it says admin is the owner uh, owned by search app currently it is private you see all the all the status here it is the uh, you see status as private currently right okay now uh, when you add lookup file right and and the status is private uh, you can you can use it okay you, only you are the person who will be using it because others will not be able to use it okay because the status is private okay if you want uh, uh, and to provide access to others okay you need to go to permissions here okay uh, uh, in case if there is any scenario where you have to uh, provide permission to your team members or if you you know want to provide uh, permission to anybody anybody in that case uh, you know you will you can go to private and you can give the access right you can select that the app only if you want to give only to search app you can select this or if you wanted to give to all apps you can give that you can give the access okay based on that you can select that will give read access okay that is enough it is uh, they don't require uh, right access you can just give uh, read access okay now you see the uh, uh, you know the sharing is available there you go you see permission uh, as you know app app permission is available we have given the permission 
now moving up look uh, now let's move to the next uh, you know lookups which is uh, uh, lookups definition okay after this you have lookups definition you need to add it basically again there also okay lookup definition we will add it okay name uh, as usual once you add it you have to uh, name it when i say add you are creating the new one name you can give as http status underscore lookup okay http status underscore lookup select the http file okay, we will have the file right you can select the file app is a search app again as usual we know that right we'll give app is a search app http uh, select http file and we'll give app as usual now go to search and reporting after you uh, do this we'll go to let me give the app okay search app once you save it we'll go to search and reporting now okay command to access the data from lookup file is input underscore lookup remember that okay now i'm going to show, show, i mean now i'm going to do that okay in uh, search and reporting app yeah so the command is uh input underscore lookup now you can see the result okay uh, these are the various values we got after doing uh, these uh, two activities right so let's uh, do input underscore lookup http and now when i check that you can see the result what is happening let's give me yeah not here delete this we'll give a in this yeah underscore lookup okay hit on enter uh, hit on i mean i will search it now you see the uh, result okay these are the various values we have got okay these are the various various values okay we have uh, we have done it so far right now you can make this you know a lookup file uh, to define the meaningful value okay to do that the http status codes uh, you know for that we will use automatic lookups now okay so let me let me go and add uh, the uh, new new for the automatic lookups now okay so please understand the reason why i am doing that okay now i will add uh, the new lookup for that what i have to do let me go to this uh, Lookups page where I see all the apps. Okay. Let me delete this. Okay, now automatic lookups. Uh, select the automatic lookup as usual. I am creating it. Click new auto HTTP status lookup. Okay. HTTP status lookup select the drop down uh, you will have the drop down right you can uh, select the lookup table here okay select this one as a status and now you will select it is as a copy source is a copy okay let me do that mm, give me a minute yeah to search copies input field is status status okay source status input field is copy it and save it now the automatic lookup will also be created okay after this mm -hmm. okay now lookup input would be uh, status again and uh, status output field is this one and copy and save it output field. copy this let me copy and you can save it save it once i save it you see automatic lookup also created 
save it there you go you have created the automatic lookup bar so now let me see all the uh, the data which uh, you know which will be reflecting here after doing all the uh, all these activities 30 days and uh, there you go you see all the data okay as as we have done so far access uh, combination of that okay this is of you add these three lookups okay i hope this will help you thanks for watching